everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm starting off with a little bit of Prosade, as well as some Scar Wax. This is the Ben Nye Scar Wax. Um, it's one of the stickier ones, so you're definitely going to want to use some Vaseline <laughs> to help keep the product from sticking to your fingers. Um, I don't like Scar Wax. <laughs> that's, that's not a lie. Um, I, I try to avoid it like the plague because I don't like the texture of it and I also find it really difficult to work with. But I'm trying my best to add some little wormies to my lips. And then here I'm just smoothing it out again with some Vaseline on my fingers so that it doesn't stick. Um, it's kind of a funny balance between using Vaseline so it doesn't stick to you, but also trying to keep it sticky so that it will stick to your skin. Um, I was having some issues here trying to get it to stay on. I don't know, it just didn't want to cooperate. Scar Wax also doesn't really like to sit um, anywhere where there's going to be a lot of movement, so definitely on the lips is going to be tricky to use this product. I should have just used latex, but because of what I was planning, I wanted something stiffer so that I could stick staples into it. So here I'm just applying some spirit gum because the prose didn't want to work. <laughs> um, Prosade is supposed to be better than spirit gum as far as strength, and I don't know, maybe my spirit gum is just a little bit old, but um, it also didn't seem to want to get very sticky. Or maybe that's just because I had Vaseline on my fingers. Who knows? This, <laughs> this process was very messy. Here, I'm, in I'm employing the use of a spatula to help me. It wants to stick to itself, but it doesn't want to stick to your skin. I'm trying my best to get it to stick and then also to smooth it out at the same time. Just adding some Vaseline to my smaller spatula here and using that to blend instead of my fingers. Um, my fingers just can't be as precise as using a small spatula and unfortunately every time I tried to use my fingers it would just knock it off my face. So here I'm trying to be more precise and a little bit gentler with my movements. And then I'm just adding some more spirit gum to my lower lip. And I don't know, it just didn't want to get super tacky like it usually does. Um, but again, that might have been because of the Vaseline residue on my fingers. I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs>
I'm really trying to smooth it out on my lips. Um, this looks kind of funny. Uh, it's like that early 2000s thing where you'd put concealer on your lips and wear it like lipstick. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just looks kind of funny. Duck lips. <laughs> Alright, and then I'm just gonna take the tool again, and I'm going to add some Vaseline so it doesn't stick, and cut down the sides very gently with the palette knife. And then here I'm going in with the Ben Nye Thick Blood, adding that to the inside of the lips as well as inside of where that cut is. Or doing my best to, anyways. <laughs> and then here I'm grabbing some staples. These are just regular old staples out of the stapler. Clicked it a couple times and got some individual ones out. And I'm using the tweezers to hold onto the staple, and then I'm dipping the ends of them into that thick blood, and then I'm sticking them into the scar wax. So that's how I'm getting that little red blood dot where the staple would be entering your skin. <laughs> now you can see why I didn't use liquid latex, because I wanted this to be sticky, so that I could use the texture of the wax to hold the staples instead of having to glue them in. felt like I needed something else, so I just took another little ball of scar wax and smoothed it out on my cheek. Decided I was going to add another cut. So I'm just smoothing that out really well. And then again, taking the spatula dipped in a little bit of Vaseline and using that to slice through the wax. But be careful so you don't actually hurt yourself. <laughs> and then I'm going in and adding some of that blood. I decided I wanted a little bit of uh, fresh wet blood, so I went in with my Halloween effects liquid blood and just added some of that into the cuts with the palette knife. And then as well as I went in on the face lip cuts, and I also added some liquid blood to that as well. Alright, and then here I am just adding the staples to the cheek piece.
I don't recommend doing this look for Halloween or if you're going to wear it for a really long time because you can't talk <laughs> with your lips stapled shut. Um, I would rather use something like little pieces of thread and then just don't connect the bottom half so that you can still move your mouth. Also, scar wax doesn't like to work for <laughs> long wear. And here's the final look. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you tomorrow in the next video. Happy Halloween, everybody!